Look at this colossal human achievement. It is the infamous Three Gorges Dam, spanning the Yangtze River in China. Up to now, it has been the world's largest hydropower project ever, costing a whopping $32 billion. To build it, more than a million people had to move. Once it was completed and its 600 square kilometer reservoir filled, it held nearly 42 billion tons of water, causing planet Earth to alter its rotation, increasing daylight hours by 0.06 milliseconds. However, this record holder is in danger of losing the glorious title because the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa is edging closer to building an even more intriguing, powerful, and expensive dam that will shatter all records and produce more than 40,000 megawatts of electricity. What is the Grand Inga Dam? And how exactly does Africa plan to build this record-breaking mega project? The Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC for short, has seen its share of troubles since the end of the harsh and cruel French colonial era. The nation experienced horrific various conflicts, including a vicious civil war. As a result, the DRC is a very poor country with only 10% of the entire population connected to the main power grid. Approximately 96% of the electricity produced in DRC is generated from the old Inga 1 and Inga 2 dams located in Congo Central Province. These two dams have an installed capacity of 1775 megawatts. However, both dams are operating at a greatly reduced capacity due to mismanagement and lack of maintenance. But luckily, both will be overhauled as part of the Grand Inga hydropower project. This massive project is an extremely important necessity for the DRC to solve its energy problems and economic woes. DRC should not be poor because it is extremely rich in minerals such as diamonds, gold, copper, cobalt, tin, tantalum, and lithium. Its cobalt wealth alone accounts for almost two-thirds of global cobalt production, which is crucial in global clean energy transitions. In a nutshell, the people of DRC need electricity to prosper, and the nation must become self-efficient in terms of electricity to capitalize on its immense wealth. These are the main reasons why the Grand Inga Dam is so important, despite the rather scary price tag attached to it. The dam is also bound to benefit the entire continent of Africa because its capacity is immense and thus would enable other African nations to import cheap electricity from the DRC. Naturally, this will contribute to spurring the continent's industrial economic development. Let's now take a detailed look at this planned dam before we get into the engineering tricks to be used in making it a reality. The Grand Inga Dam, which is set to be constructed by China's Three Gorges Corporation, will be the world's largest hydropower project. The projected cost is between 80 and 100 billion dollars. It will produce up to 44,000 megawatts of electricity, which is over twice the power generation of the Three Gorges Dam in China and about a third of the total electricity currently produced in all of Africa. It will not be a single continuous dam, but rather a series of five dams on the Lower Congo River in the Western Democratic Republic of the Congo, about 150 kilometers upstream of the mouth of the Congo River and 225 kilometers southwest of Kinshasa. As you probably guessed, the Congo River is the world's second largest in terms of flow after the Amazon and the second longest river in Africa at 4,700 kilometers after the Nile River. It empties into the equatorial Atlantic Ocean, creating what is famously known as the Congo Plume. Here is an interesting fact about this plume. It is a major global high productivity area arising from the rich nutrient flow from the river and is detected as far as 800 kilometers offshore and is one of the largest carbon sinks in the world. Anyway, the location for the colossal project is ideal because the Congo River is unique in that it has large rapids and waterfalls very close to the mouth while most rivers have these features upstream. 
The Grand Inga Dam will literally sit on the largest waterfall worldwide by volume, the Inga Falls, which is a series of falls and rapids that drop in elevation via small rapids. The main falls are 4 kilometers wide, dropping to about 22 meters near a bend and forming hundreds of channels and rivulets and many small islands. At the Grand Inga site, the Congo River drops 96 meters in a run of 14.5 kilometers. Once this mega hydropower project is constructed, it will draw as much as 80% of the river water, if not more. As we said earlier, the old Inga 1 and Inga 2 dams already existed since 1972 and 1982 respectively, and the construction of Inga 3 is slated to begin in the next 18 months, which is the first of seven stages to construct the Grand Inga. Each one of the five dams that constitute the Grand Inga will feature 52 turbines with a capacity of 750 megawatts or more, which will make it the world's largest dam in terms of hydroelectric production. It is worth noting here that the existing Inga 1 and 2 dams, which are slated to be overhauled, will be considered part of the Grand Dam. Thus, we could say that it is made of seven, not five dams. The Grand Inga is a truly magnificent mega-project that, once completed, will transform the entire continent of Africa, especially if Egypt succeeds in its efforts to make the entire continent connected to a single massive grid that spans the entire continent. Mind you that Egypt is building a one-of-a-kind massive nuclear power station called the al Daba Nuclear Station that, once operational and coupled with the production capacity of the Inga Dam, will solve all of Africa's electricity problems and turn it into a net exporter of electricity to places like Europe via existing undersea cables that Egypt already utilize for exporting clean electricity from its massive solar and hydrogen power generation projects, among others. Let's now get into the expected design and engineering tricks to be utilized in turning the Grand Inga into a reality. From 2011 to 2013, a feasibility study was conducted by a joint venture of ACOM and Electricite de France. The study proposed Grand Inga would be constructed in seven development phases, with Inga 3 being the first of these phases. Inga 3 itself would be constructed in two phases, initially a low head, only to set the stage for establishing a high head, extending the dam wall and making it higher. High head dams are favorable and the most efficient. In case you do not know what the head is, it is the change in water levels between the hydro intake and the hydro discharge point, which, the higher it is, the better. Thus, the higher the head you have, the higher the water pressure across the hydro turbine and the more power it will generate. Another advantage of a higher head dam is the fact that higher water pressure means you can force a higher flow rate through a smaller turbine. And it also means faster rotating turbine and generator, which means lower torque. And because turbine cost is closely related to physical size, it means lower costs. Usually, the construction of a dam means the diversion of the river's flow. However, in the case of Grand Inga, there will be no closure of the Congo River and no tunnels, just an open channel. About 6,000 cubic meters of water per second would be diverted for Inga 3 to a valley that runs parallel to the Congo Riverbed. We also expect that the remaining dams, Inga 4, 5, 6, and 7, will be constructed in a similar, if not identical, manner to Inga 3. We promise you a follow-up video once the final plans for this mega-project are laid out and construction begins. Do you believe the DRC will be able to ace this massive mega-project and rise from the ruins of poverty? What are the obstacles to such a project? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon.